Sam is here to tell us about the total solar eclipse that's coming. I'm excited about it, George. It's about a month away, and soon it's going to be too late to make plans and even buy the gadget. So let's get you in full-fledged prep mode for this eclipse. Are we playing Total Eclipse of the Heart? Is that what's going on right now? <laughs> Fans are booking getaways to get a better view. Some of the major airlines are even flying along the path of totality so that passengers can look out the window and see it no matter what the weather is on the ground. Schools are closing. Cities are bumping up emergency services, all preparing for an onslaught of eclipse-seeking visitors. It's the ultimate show in our skies. It's T-minus one month until the total eclipse that will send hearts racing across the U.S. There's nothing I can do, a total eclipse of the heart. Eclipse mania is already gaining momentum on social media as the countdown begins. If you live in the United States, you have to set your calendars for Monday, April 8th. Some experts are calling it the Super Bowl of astronomical events. As the moon passes between the sun and the earth, its shadow sweeps across North America. Once in a lifetime opportunity, you know, you don't want to miss this. The path of totality stretching across 13 states, from Texas to Maine, plunging some cities into more than four minutes of darkness. NASA says even if you don't live in that path, 99% of Americans will still be able to catch at least part of it. Bloomington, Indiana, preparing to welcome more than 300,000 spectators. Indiana University is hosting the Hoosier Cosmic Celebration with a performance by Janelle Monet. And appearances by astronaut Mae Jemison and the one and only Captain Kirk. My God, Bones. What have I done? I've been planning this current solar eclipse since 2017. Rachel Shenfeld and her family plan to make the five-hour drive from Chicago to Bedford, Indiana, to have a front row seat. We're, we're super nerdy about it. We're very excited. The key to safely enjoying the eclipse is a pair of these special solar glasses that will help protect your eyes when you're looking at the sun. Yeah, eye doctors tell me and they tell me every time there's one of these to not look directly at the sun without eye protection. So everybody, Lara, guys, do you have it? It may be too early for us to put them on on the set, but why not? It's fun anyway. <laughs> Lara, oh my God, those are so beautiful. Oh, You're going to see stars anyway. I can't read prompt with them. See you anything. can't see anything. <laughs> and so they're different from regular sunglasses in the fact that you can't. The only thing you'll be able to see is the bright spot of the sun because you're not supposed to stare. So it blocks out all those harmful rays. It's why you can't use them it's just as really sunglasses. Blocks. I can see right? I can see some lights. Can you see the light in the studio? Make me realize these lights are really bright. Right. So some people are asking about their pets, and here's what experts tell us. Your, your pets won't be interested enough to look up, although it would damage their eyes as well. But their American Kennel Club is saying just leave them inside because all the crazy activity that's going on outside will shake them up anyway. But this is a big deal. Try to get these early before they're no longer available, guys. I love your pet psychology. Pets are not interested in the <laughs> they, they won't care. <laughs> Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.